the key to New York City. When you hear those words, I want you to imagine the notion that because someone's vaccinated, they can do all the amazing things that are available in this city. This is a miraculous place, full, literally full of wonders. And if you're vaccinated, all that's going to open up to you. You'll have the key. You can open the door. But if you're unvaccinated, unfortunately, you will not be able to participate in many things. That's the point we're trying to get across. It's time for people to see vaccination as literally necessary to living a good and full and healthy life. The key to NYC pass will be a first in the nation approach. It will require vaccination. It will require vaccination. It will require vaccination for workers and customers in indoor dining, in indoor fitness facilities, indoor entertainment facilities. This is going to be a requirement. This is going to be a requirement. The only way to patronize these establishments indoors will be if you're vaccinated, at least one dose. The same for folks in terms of work. They'll need at least one dose. This is crucial because we know that this will encourage a lot more vaccination. We've seen it already. We've seen the impact of the mandate we've been put in place for city workers already starting to move people to vaccination. We've obviously seen the positive impact of incentive as well. The goal here is to convince everyone that this is the time. If we're going to stop the Delta variant, the time is now. And that means getting vaccinated right now. Not everyone's going to agree with this. I understand that. If you want to participate in our society fully, you got to get vaccinated. If you want to participate in our society fully, you got to get vaccinated. If you want to participate in our society fully, you got to get vaccinated. You got to get vaccinated. It's time. It depends on what we do now when it comes to vaccination, to overcoming disinformation. And what we really need to do at this point is to make vaccination the easy choice. It needs to be hard for people to remain unvaccinated. Right now, it's kind of the opposite. It's fine. I mean, it's easy if you're unvaccinated. You can do everything you want to do anyway. But at some point, these mandates by workplaces, by schools, I think it will be important to say, hey, you can opt out. But if you want to opt out, you have to sign these forms. You have to get twice weekly testing. Basically, we need to make getting vaccinated. Don't get the vaccine. You can't go to the supermarket. Don't have the vaccine. You don't show it. Can't go to the ball game. Don't have the vaccine. Can't go to work. You don't have the vaccine. Can't come here. No shirt, no shoes, no service. That's where I think we should be right now, because we continue to waste our breath on people who are just not going to change. They're, you know, the circular logic. They just keep going back and saying, well, it's my freedom. 